Welcome top news today. Roy Moore, reflected in a window, addressed supporters on election night in Montgomery, Alabama. Kevin D. Lyles for the New York Times in one of the strange rhymes that history favors, nearly eight years after Barack Obama's Democrats managed the extraordinary feat of losing a Senate race in Massachusetts, Donald Trump's Republicans have matched the feat by losing a Senate seat in Alabama. Roy Moore and Martha Coakley don't really have a lot in common personally, but their respective defeats have one essential similarity. They are both stark repudiations of a first-term president, foreshadowing a larger repudiation soon to come. What was repudiated in Massachusetts in early 2010 was a specific policy course the Obama White House's pursuit of a sweeping and complex health care bill in the teeth of an enormous recession, which unsettled voters who wanted hope and change only so long as the latter didn't affect their health insurance premiums. The fact that Coakley was a terrible candidate made it easier for Scott Brown to torpedo her, but the backlash against Obamacare, the feeling that a liberal president had turned too soon from seeking growth to seeking redistribution, was an essential element in her defeat. There is an unpopular Republican tax bill now to echo the unpopular Democratic health care bill eight years ago, but policy is a much smaller part of what was repudiated last night in Alabama. It was not so much a rejection of the Trump agenda as it was a rejection of the whole Trumpian mode of politics, which since our president's election has consisted of a trebling down on the most unattractive features of his campaign style, a fervent commitment. Two, triggering the libs, torn of any populist substance, and a cocksure assumption that any Republicans who aren't in it for the liberal triggering care enough about judges and abortion are their tax cuts or the soaring stock market to swallow hard and go along. Roy Moore, in this sense, was Trump's Trump, the man who took this mode of politics to 11 and beyond. The president has harassment accusations, the judge had mall trawling accusations. Trump is a race, Bader Moore was a stock character from a message movie about Southern bigotry. Trump's populism mixed reasonable grievances in together with some stupid ones. Moore's populism 